Okay. Let's have a look at what the front pages are telling us this morning. We'll start with the Telegraph. And that's looking ahead to the Prime Minister's announcement of further coronavirus restrictions. They are expected tomorrow. The paper says millions will be asked not to travel outside of their local areas and that people could be banned from mixing with other households. The uh, north-south divide has prompted this eye-catching image in the Sunday People. It claims that uh, Boris Johnson, on the left of the photograph, is becoming more <laughs> like Margaret Thatcher in his attitude towards Northern England. I didn't sleep very well after I saw that pitch last night, Roger. Um, the Mail on Sunday <laughs> is reporting that the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, floated the existing restrictions by, quote, drinking in a commons bar beyond 10pm and made, quote, a crass joke about the government's test and trace failings. A spokesman for the Health Secretary said no rules have been broken, though. And one of the uh, trending stories on Twitter on social media overnight was Strictly Come Dancing's tribute to its former winner, Caroline Flack, who died in February. A lot of people commented on how moving it was. It certainly was. Um, a look inside the papers this morning. This caught my eye in the Sunday Times. So lots of people uh, working from home have made fancy pants sheds in their gardens as um, a place where they can work from home efficiently. Somebody said here, it's away from the kids, it's a no-kid zone, high-speed internet. But this couldn't be more 2020. You try and make the best out of a COVID situation and it turns out you could be taxed on that property when it comes to selling it. So people saying, I'm creating a nice workspace at home. That's a, that's a pucker shed as well, isn't it? It's a fantastic <laughs> shed. David Cameron with his shepherd's hut there that he's been working. But actually it could end up costing you when it comes to selling on the house because it's considered a place of work rather okay. than a place of leisure. You cannot win this year, can you? Just stick a couple... Get all the computers out and shove your lawnmower in there and you might get yeah, away with get it. Away. No, we would not endorse that. <laughs> this is a, another coronavirus story. Uh, it's a, a very nicely staged photograph taken in a, in a, in a brook in, in Scotland, in, in a stream. Uh, gold prospectors feel the pull of Scotland's streams, it says. Um, lots of people who've got a bit of time, maybe been furloughed, is the gist of the story, have been panning for gold in oh, Scotland, wow. hoping that they can find some. These two chaps are both quite practised and proficient at it. And it says what one of them makes about £6,000 a year uh, in terms of the, the amount of gold that he manages to find. Do you know what I love about that? There's so many activities people are taking part mm. in because of coronavirus. We've, we've done, like, local outdoor swimming. for the, We never would have done that in October before coronavirus, yeah. but because we're not allowed to take the kids indoor anywhere, we've been braving the elements. It's a bit nippy. It's a little bit nippy. Um, have you thought ahead to Christmas yet? No. Is let it me, let me. Of course, it'll <laughs> always happen. We'll have to make the best of it. Just a warning: if you're planning uh, to shop online, there's not much to see here. But um, 11 weeks until Christmas, but shoppers are worried because already a cardo delivery slots have been snapped up. You can't oh get one already for your Christmas shop. Mind you, I like the physical Christmas shop. Well, Three or it, four rounds of it, just yeah. buying bits and bobs. Um, Best bit of the year. Maybe uh, underwear could be on the shopping list for, for your loved one. Well, Rihanna apparently has made plus-size men the next big thing. She used a, a, a plus-size model uh, to advertise her and to model her latest range of uh, lingerie. Stevie G is the, uh, is the chap. Um, and she's been getting a lot of, uh, lot of praise for having uh, plus-size men. Obviously, plus-size women have been involved in... Uh, Stevie in G! Oh. He looks different. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? Not Stephen Gerrard. No. I was expecting <laughs> you to do a story about Portuguese wine. That was the story that was getting you most excited. I'll bore you, I'll bore you with that later, Roger. Yeah.